Hi friends. Because it's such a beautiful day here in northern New Jersey, I wanted to talk about the sun because so many people are scared of the sun and our society has taught us to get away from the sun because it's going to cause all these health problems, this cancer, and you might be getting misinformation. So let me share with you what I've learned and hopefully you will get something out of this and understand some different points of view. The sun is a star at the center of our universe. It came before all creation. Without it, there'd be no plants, no animals, and no life. We wouldn't be a planet. We would be, live, we would be a ball of ice. So how can it possibly be so bad? And what can replace the sun? It's needed for so many functions of our body. Our skin needs it to make vitamin D. Hey, Kathy. Our brain needs it. It helps with anxiety, depression. It reduces blood pressure. It helps our heart, our immune system, our hormone function. It reduces cancer, inflammation, and osteoporosis. So my point is, is that the sun is very important, but you do have to be smart about the sun. So how can you be smart? And I'm sorry, but they're doing construction next to me, which is why I'm wearing these headphones and I'm hoping that you can hear me, but I really wanted to be outside and I try to be outside as much as possible. So during my lunch break, I'll get out and I'll just lay there and let the sun hit my face and slowly and gradually get some tan. And people are like, where'd you go? I said, I just laid outside for a half hour during my lunch break, but it's really important to allow the sun to help you heal. Um, so you want to be smart and take little times of the day in the morning, in the noon, and then later in the day so that you're getting the different spectrums of light into your body. You don't have to do a lot, but you want to build up slowly. So by the summer, you have a nice, you have nice color. And then you, if you're going to be at the beach for the day, you want to make sure you are smart and cover your body bring a really big umbrella, bring um, clothing that's gonna cover you, but make sure to get out there and get some solid sun for a little while. And you'll know, your body will know how much sun you need because when you start to feel like you're getting burnt, hey John, then you're gonna wanna cover yourself up, get under the umbrella, or possibly use some natural organic sunscreens. So I like to use essential oils and my favorite is doTERRA. They make really great products and I'm comfortable putting them on my skin because I know they're, they're not non-toxic and they're healthy and they're completely natural. Um, so I'll use myrrh and frankincense and I'll mix it with uh, coconut oil, but there are other products out there that you can find at Whole Foods or Organica in this area. So. Keep an eye out, bring them, but don't um, use them completely because you want to get some sun. If you need more information about natural sun and how to heal, there is a guy who wrote an amazing book. His name is Andreas Mortis. It's called Heal Yourself with Sunlight. And he talks about all the many health problems that you can solve through sunshine. And I remember as a little girl, my mom was very sick. She had rheumatoid arthritis and all the doctors told her that she would never be healthy again. And the only cure, the only thing they could do was give them her shots of cortisone and gold shots. And you know, her body was severely deforming from the rheumatoid arthritis until she found this wonderful doctor named Max Warmbrand. He was a chiropractor, an osteopath and a naturopath. And she was going three times a week to him he put her on a super clean diet. She was fasting once a week and um, detoxing. And she got adjusted um, three times a week, gently adjusted. And he was doing sun, uh, like sunlight treatments with a special light that was giving her the sun, uh, as much sun type healing that she could get from inside. So just remember that, you know, because the sun is part of our planet 
All animals need sun. When it's sunny out, my dog will be finding her little spot and just soak up the rays. If you're walking in the woods, you're gonna see animals laying in the sunniest spot. So how could it possibly be bad for us? It's logical that the sun would be good for us. So think logically, check it out on your own and um, get some sun and make sure that you do it smart. So I hope this helps. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy the sun. Bye.